Hello there, welcome to my sewing channel. My sewing channel is called Sewing Yogi and my name is Anita and today I am bringing you a video of things that I made in April and there is not that much to show you um, and just wanted to apologise for not getting any content out at all recently, any sewing content. Um, I've just been not really with it. I have been trying to get my business, my little tiny business, um, up and going really. I hadn't really sort of ventured into getting it properly going after Covid and I thought it was probably about time. I was getting asked a lot from students saying wanted more from me and um, so yeah I've, I've basically took the last three months I say in trying to get more um, you know, business, more clients, um, more classes. So I've got now um, seven classes in total. And yeah, I'm pretty shattered, to be honest, I'm really knackered. I find it really challenging physically now. I'm a lot, obviously a lot older now and um, I do a lot of walking. I walk to and from all the places I teach at. I don't, you know, uh, drive. So that's always a bit of an extra challenge. And I chose to go the old school way of advertising um, by posting leaflets through people's doors. And I did it all on my own. You know, I did get quite a few injuries from posting leaflets. I had no idea it was such a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> Some people's letterboxes are super, super lethal. And I, at one point I had a massive bruise and a cut on my <laughs> hand from just trying to push these leaflets through. And of course I was doing this in the rain, the wind, and yeah, yeah, sob story. But you know, <laughs> um, it's been challenging, but now it's kind of set up and it's, go it's going now. So I know I'm bringing in more money and, you know, financially it would be better for me. And I do get a lot of joy from what I do. I love the response I get from people and I just want to help people essentially at the end of the day and that's what I'm doing and that's what I love doing so so yeah that's one of the reasons why I haven't been able to do any sewing I'm just getting home and I'm literally turning into a zombie just sitting on the sofa or getting on the bed and lying down and sleeping so <laughs> I'm really not getting anything done but I am trying I'm trying my hardest to try and make this new um, routine work for me but yeah I am back and again I just wanted to come on connect with you and show you what I have made um I also wanted to say a huge huge thank you to all the lovely comments that I got for my previous two vlogs the one that was for the so frugal challenge and then the one previous to that you might not have seen that one but it was a, um, a basically a vlog where I had a bit of a whinge about <laughs> my um, dental care and yeah um, I just wanted to say a huge huge thank you I was not expecting anybody to comment at all on my situation or give me any um, I suppose any love really um, I didn't really tell you to get that reaction I'm not that sort of person I'm a very private person and I think that sometimes these vlogs I feel a little bit um, like I can I don't know I feel maybe it's a sense of security that I feel that I can, can tell you stuff I don't know I'll just update you I just went to a different dentist unfortunately I didn't need to have any of the work done that was told to me previously so good news I've saved loads of money with that and also just the stress of it all I haven't got to have that stress now the lady that I did see did say there may be a few things there that they just need to keep an eye on but nothing to the degree of what the other guy was saying yeah thanks everybody for all your wonderful messages for that I shall move on now to what I'm going to talk about which is the things that I made in April so I should get on with it So this is one of the things that I made in April and it is a make that I've already made before and I think I made it about two years ago. I bought the pattern in the Makerist $2 sale and it is a pattern I think called Yolanda or Jolanda and I really loved it. I did however make it a little bit too large for me so I was disappointed in the first version. I really loved the fabric I used, I will put a picture of it up here in the corner. 
Um, I love the fabric, but it just seems too big, oversized for me. I didn't really feel comfortable in it, even though I still wear it, to be honest. I do wear it sometimes. I feel like I can wear it now. I don't know why. But when I first made it, I didn't feel like I'd wear it. So I wanted to make it again. And then the challenge came up in April for sewing a blouse and the hashtag SewAprilBlouse23 that was um, created by Cloth Edit and she also got Rowan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl on board for this um, this year. So yeah, I really thought I'm going to give this a go and make this particular top. Whether it's actually a blouse or not, I don't know. I think they were being quite loose with their definition of what a blouse is, which is good. Um, but yeah, I really really wanted to make this again and try and make it better. Um, so yeah, the pattern itself is quite a complicated pattern in that you have to add seam allowances, which I know that probably a lot of people will be put off by. And also the, the sizing is really complicated in my head. I don't know why but I just find it really challenging. And every time I kept trying to grade between the sizes, I kept getting completely lost. Even though I'd marked them out, which, one I, which ones I needed to make, I just, my head just couldn't keep those numbers in my head. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, it's sized, I think from 40, oh, I can't remember, 38 to something. I'll put it down underneath the description. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I made the first time a 40, two on the top and then a 44 grading 44 towards the bottom this time I thought well, I'll make a 40 and I think I did a 38 for the back neckline and then I graded to a 42 for the waist and I think this one fits a lot better um so yeah I'm really happy with this one it probably could have been a little bit smaller but I'm I'm not you know I'm not worried about it at all I think I'm happy with what I've made this time the fabric I've used for this is a, a fabric I bought from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn back in, I think it was last year, summertime. Um, so they won't have this available anymore. I think it might have been a new look fabric, an ex um, dead stock new look fabric. Um, but yeah, so I really, really like this fabric and I really had no idea what to make with it. I only bought two meters. Um, but it was perfect for this, I think. So I will stand up and let you see it first so you can see what this is like. If you have seen the pictures on Instagram, then you will kind of get the gist. Um, but the pictures are not great. Um, I was feeling a little bit um, bedraggled on the day of the pictures, and I, so I just chopped my head off, essentially. <laughs> so you only get to see the actual blouse, but it has a frill all the way around here, just like a little bib. And it has a frill on that and then it has little shoulder pleats which you can't probably see but there's like a little pleat here in the back and in the back and the shoulders and then you have a three quarter length sleeve which you can choose um option where you don't have a sleeve at all but i wanted to get a sleeve and then you have a, this um what's it called this particular sleeve i'm not quite sure what this is called it's a tie sleeve i think with the air vent um and the first time i made that that was actually quite a challenge but this time i didn't find it anywhere near as challenging and then on the bottom i'll stand up back a little bit so you can see the bottom of it um it has a curved hem so it has a little sort of um slash here and then it kind of curls around the front and I think it's really pretty and I think this time I've made the length perfect and I think I shortened it too much the first time and I wasn't really happy with the length so it just hits um, just my hip area there back is slightly lower than the front it sits a lot better on my, sh my uh, shoulder whereas before it was kind of you know down here really low and it was really voluminous and I feel it's still got quite a, a decent amount of room in there, but it's, um, I just feel like it fits me nicely. It doesn't look too oversized. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else on there? Oh yeah, then you have a little button on the back here with um, a tiny little slash there. And you have to make a little ruler loop for your button to go on. And yeah, I really like it. I really, really love it. I'm hoping you can see the fabric um, colours in this light. It's starting to get a little bit dark now. Mind you, it's been dark all day. 
with the rain and the thunder but uh yeah that is yolanda i think it's called or jolanda it's i think an italian pattern um and yeah it is by let me have a look if i can say it i think it's italian atelier uh yeah atelier uh, vicolo number six i don't know whether i'm saying that right at all you can probably see it on there um i'll write it on the bottom as well it'll be in the description yeah i think this has um a back neck facing and then the bib itself is um faced so it's the same fabric on the inside so it looks really nice on the inside um of this bit here so yeah i did take off some length off the sleeves as well i think i took about an inch off the sleeves let me just check my notes um actually no two inches from the sleeves because the first version again i didn't take any off the sleeves and i thought they were too long and then i took just an inch off the bodice off the original length of the bodice i think again i took too much off the first time but this one i really really love and i have worn it already lots of times i um, wore it out to lunch to see my friend um yeah and it's really comfortable and it's perfect actually for this time of year because Right now the weather's being a little bit mental here in the UK, it's raining one minute then the sun's coming out and so it's kind of yeah, this and my raincoat goes well together. Um, and that's it I think, I don't think there's anything else I have to say about this, um, other than I am happy with it and I'm wearing it lots. Okay so this is the second thing that I made in April and this is again another pattern I've made before. Now again, this was two years ago I think I made this one. And this was a free pattern from a magazine. But I think you can also purchase this pattern in one of the Sewing Bee books. So the British Sewing Bee. I'm not sure which book it is. I think it might be the first book, but I could be wrong. It might be the second book. And it is a maxi dress. And I made this for the So Frugal 21 challenge, I think it is. It wasn't last year, it was the year before I made it. And I think I was an unofficial vlogger for that that year. Um, I just decided to, to sort of jump in and jump on the bandwagon for that one. Um, and I made this particular dress. So the first version I made for this, I made it straight out of the packet and found that it was way too oversized for me. I made the smallest size, which is a size eight. Um, the shoulder seams were hanging off. Um, the front was too low. The sides were really baggy and gaping um, and just too much, too much fabric there. Um, and obviously, yeah, the sleeves were a little bit long and yeah, it just didn't seem right. But I managed to save it by just sewing in some of the material out by just taking it in a little bit on the sides um and then the rest of it sort of well, I just lived with <laughs> and I still wore it masses and I have worn it so much that dress just got worn to bits so I wanted to make another one um now this pattern is I'll show you the packet here that's what it came like in the magazine so it's called just the maxi dress on that uh, on the pattern cover um on you can tell on the model there it's hugely oversized i feel um it just looks too baggy and the way it's meant to be i think he's meant to be quite fitted but yeah anyway it's not the greatest pattern i would say it's probably yeah i don't know whether they just quickly drafted this together i don't know but it seems a bit crazy the way it's been made um, like I say, the, the top here was huge, um, and then the waist is fit, fits me perfectly fine. This time, I've, I've made the, the front here a little bit higher, so I just added some fabric um, or to the pattern piece, a good centimetre and a half, I think. I've sliced some off the shoulder seam and uh, graded it in. I have taken in some of the side seam here, um, and shortened it a little bit more on the length of the bottom tier and I think yeah and then the sleeve I did take up some on the sleeve however this time the version came together and didn't really work so when I first made the pattern I think I'd already adjusted the pattern but didn't make any notes on the pattern that I'd already adjusted it so when I came back to it this time I thought I hadn't made any adjustments and then took off more from the pattern I don't know what was going on in my brain. 
I didn't check it. I didn't reference it to the original pattern or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I just took off more and then it ended up being way too tight. And I couldn't get my sleeve to fit. This was all really tight here on the front. There wasn't enough room under the armhole. The bicep was really tight. And I thought, oh, that's weird. Why is it not fitting me? Um, the first version fit me. So why is this one not fitting? Had more fabric, fortunately, to cut another bodice out and then made the bodice up first. And then I tried it with the sleeve that I had previously and found that it was still too tight. So I think the sleeve I'd made previously then didn't fit the bodice with all the alterations on it. So I'd taken this obviously up. It didn't fit. So I had to then re-cut um, out some more sleeves. Again, fortunately I had more fabric left so I could just cut a bigger sleeve. So even though I'd shortened the sleeve on the first version, um, when it came to making the next size up, it's just ended up being the same length again as the first version. <laughs> so I'm going to have to probably take that up again, maybe a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not awful. Um, and then what else have I done? Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, but yeah, I prefer this version, but I still think maybe there's a few little bits of tweaking. So I'll stand back and let you see what you, what you can judge for yourself or what you think. So I'm going to go and stand back quite far so you can see the full thing and then I will come back further forward so you can hear what I'm saying. So I'll step on my step and you might be able to see the bottom of that there and with the tiers, it has three tiers and they are gathered in between each tier and it's really really lovely in summary. I'll come back a little bit closer so you can see it has a, um, a band that kind of comes up into a nice point here and goes all the way around and again it's gathered and there's little gathers here underneath the bust and then again the back has little gathers in this section here and it has a um, invisible zip that goes all the way up. Um, it has these um, cuffs on the sleeve and again like I say I think it needs to be slightly shorter but it's not too awful. Um, and yeah, I wasn't sure whether the waist is just a little bit low and I didn't know whether it'd be more flattering if it just sat a tiny bit higher. Um, but maybe it's just me being a little bit picky. Um, but again, I can, I can probably take that up easily with just sewing it up. I might lose my gathers a little bit, but I might try that and see what it looks like by basting it. Um, but yeah, so this is the full thing and I really, really love it. Even though I find it a really challenging pattern, and it's probably not the most amazing drafted, drafted pattern wise. Um, but yeah, I obviously love it. I've made another one, and this fabric was again a, a market buy. That's why I had so much of it, because it wasn't very expensive at all. And I did actually think I can go back and buy more if I need to cut more bits out or another bodice out, etc. But yeah, it's um, a really lovely summery or spring uh, fabric. I think it's really pretty with this... Uh, sky blue with pink flowers or pink blossoms on it and yeah so I love it I really love it and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet obviously the weather here in the UK is not that great right now <laughs> it is a very feminine dress um, it's a very floral I'm sorry it may not be everybody's cup of tea but I love anything floral and feminine so yeah, I don't know why I'm obsessed with anything with which has like a little panel underneath. I just find it really, really flattering. I have got other patterns like this, which I want to make. I am probably a little bit scared of them um, because I always find that I think the fitting is going to be really difficult, but um, I made this now. So really I should try it, those other patterns. I think there's the tea dress by Sew Over It that I'd like to make. And there's also a McCall's pattern, which I really love. And I keep seeing versions of it coming out recently. There's one, there was another lady that put a picture on Instagram recently of the particular dress that I want to make. Um, and yeah, it's beautiful, but I'm a bit scared of the fitting, but I should just do it really. If I've done this one, I, you know, it can't be much different really. Um, but yeah, I will put up another vlog soon. I hope to share with you what my plans are. I think I'll probably just give you some plans of what I might achieve throughout the summer. Things that I want to make throughout the summer as opposed to this month because um, it is just when I can get the time to actually sew something. 
yeah so I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I made in April and again apologies for not being able to get anything out for you I do feel really bad but you know that's life isn't it um but yeah I really hope you've had an amazing week or weekend whenever you're seeing this and I shall see you again next time and as always sending you all loads and loads of love bye bye